morning YouTube. It's currently like 4.20 in the morning here. Um, today I will be showing off my NCAA Kimpom model. Um, this is a pretty more advanced model than the last one. And uh, it's pretty cool. So um, without further ado, let's get into it. So you can see my screen. Let's go to sheet one. So we're going to try and replicate this today. Uh, I need to look at the formulas again. But so data, get data from web. This is a way to bring in the Ken Palm statistics. Um, now, what you saw there wasn't everything. It's designed to be minimal. But we'll get everything. All right, so first, go to kenpomp.com. And once it loads, it's taking a while. I might need to plug this in. Are you slow? The battery's low, so I'm plugging it in. So we we'll get it to. Pinpon.com for these amazing statistics that are probably available. Now they do have a subscription. So if you want to get more statistics, uh, you can. I don't have the subscription. So let's see. So I'm going to move this into a water. So you can see that. So transform, you want to transform data because we only need some of these. Um, so we don't need the rank, we need the team name, we don't need conference, we don't need wins, um, I'm trying to remember which ones I need, uh, so, we don't need this, we don't need this. Uh, I don't even think we need this. So then, luck. Um, oh, and about the accuracy on this, uh, I was pretty accurate with um, very luck. Uh, strength of opponent now. Okay, so now we have what we want. And we're going to head. Close and load. So now we have um, what we want, but it's pretty accurate um, on non close games. Now, like games that are like are close games by the point spread or games that are close in general, it's harder to predict. Um, but usually t it tends towards the favorite always. But um, if you can identify the games that aren't close and make a parlay or something, if you are a gambler, that could be lucrative, but again, I don't recommend it. Gambling and um, I think gambling just loses money in the long run. So, but okay, so now we have this. So let me go over this. So this is the offense per um uh this is like the offense per. I'll have to look at kenpom.com really quick. So I'm trying to remember what everything is. So I'll go to Google Chrome. Y'all can't see my screen, but I'm looking into it. Um, so, so the offense, um, so it just means points scored per 100 possessions. So that's important. And the defense is at points allowed per 100 possessions. And then the time is per 40 minutes, so that's how long a basketball game is typically. And we'll use this to calculate what we want to do. So 
we're going to start with equals, well, first we have to make something for the team. So we're going to do data tech, or you can always slow this down if you want, but I'm doing my best to go slow. Data validation, you want to do list and source. Just go ahead and select this whole thing. We didn't alphabetize it. We probably should have. But this will just um, make it easier because now we can just drop down and write anyone in. Now they have the seeds. They don't usually have this during the regular season, but since there's a playoff, there was a, there's seeds. Um, so now we can type Connecticut or we can search anybody, St. Mary's, um, TCU, which is where I went. So let's put TCU in there. And then we're going to do, we're going to have to look up these things. So equals X lookup, lookup value, control shift down, down arrow. Um, it might be different on a Mac. I'm sorry, I don't have a Mac. And lookup array, like lookup value. Sorry, that was wrong. So control X. Um, Paste that there. F2. Now return array. Just an offense. Control shift down. Enter. So you get TCUs, but watch it. Let's see Alabama's. So Alabama has a better offense than TCU, according to Kim Palm. Um, and then we'll copy this. Paste it. Copy the formula. Now paste the formula out. And then we have all three, so ADJ, O, ADJ, D, ADJ, um, T. Now, this is where the math comes in. So let's do Auburn versus Alabama as our, as our first example. Both four seeds. Now we're going to do equals. Um, Let's see, so equals this divided by 100 and then multiplied by um, this divided by 40. Okay, now let's copy that down. You can do that flash fill um, and then we're going to do we're going to add on to this formula. We're going to do all in one cell. So, actually, um, I need to divide by 40. Actually, I don't need to divide by 40, sorry. Now you have those, and then we're going to copy this. Fill it in. Let's check this out. Um, so, defense. Defense. And now we're going to do the square root method that I've shown before. So it equals this time, equals SQRT um, times this. Uh, yep. And then this is going to be, we're going to have to change this formula here because it's not going to work. Yep. But we're going to go like this. So now it's saying if Auburn played Alabama, what I'm reading here is that Auburn will win. Now, I don't know what the record was in the regular season, but the reason why is probably because the defense of Auburn is a lot better than Alabama's defense. Um, now we can, like, if you want more clean, we can hide this home. Oops, make this smaller. Now, like, obviously there's no points. Point four or whatever in basketball, so we can make that smaller too. But I like to have the point sometimes just because um, then you can uh, then you can um, oh you can differentiate close games. So this is a not close game. So I usually saw accuracy of like over eighty percent with these, where it's like a five point swing. Now, um, let's see. So, like, let's see how it does with a team that's not as good. 
So Central Connecticut, I saw earlier. So, oh, well, maybe Central Connecticut is better than I thought they were. Um, well, Met, like, who's a bad team this year? Mississippi Valley City is one of the worst teams ever this year. So, now the thing is, it doesn't show blowouts well, but you can see there's this, there's a big difference. Eight points is a big difference in this. Um, now the score isn't accurate. The scores aren't going to be accurate perfectly, obviously. Um, this is just a prediction model, but I think it's a good start. And um, we'll go to picks. And I have this other that formula I showed you in the baseball one, and the sum and the over under. And I was trying to predict matchups and stuff, but let's just data refresh all. See if anything changes. Oh, it's just NA now. That's not good. Well, let's just. I think what happened was. Oh, okay. This is from two years ago, I guess. So we'll have to do um, Alabama. Oh. Uh, we'll do data validation. This is weird. Okay. Um, data validation. Data validation. Where's data validation? Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, let's, let's just do source. Control shift down. Okay. See that helps. Here it is now. Okay. So I can go like Alabama. Oh. Okay, so San Diego said it was a five seed again this year, but now we're going to copy this, paste it, Auburn, four. So, where's the score? Um, 156. Let's see if the sums to 156. That will be the judge of this. Ah, uh, so it's weird. I did something different. Um, uh, let's expand this. Offense. Oh, yeah. This is an inaccurate way of doing it. Um. Uh, I don't know why I divide by the average. That's not right. This is the wrong way I did it. You don't need to divide by the average. So let's see. Um, there's no point in dividing by the average. Pretty sure. I must have had some reason to do it before, but yeah, so this model here is not this one. This one's the best way to do it. Um, so if you followed along, let me know. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Um, I don't know why I divide by the average. That's, that was, hmm. Okay, well, let's try another game. So Duke. Everyone loves to do the North Carolina matchup because it's such a good matchup usually. So North Carolina by point. Um, yeah, so that's the video. Um, let me know if you have any questions and make sure to like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, thanks. Bye.